the so lady of the hour. There she yes. is. So excited. All right, so over the years, of course, she did get a lot of ribbons here, but where yep. she got most of her ribbons was actually the Anoka County Fair. She has won. She's done really well there, actually. Yes. And this year, we got to tag along with her as she uh, got some of her prizes. What are we talking about when it comes to the count right now for blue ribbons, Marjorie? Well, I, well you know, I stopped counting after a thousand, you know. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty-one, I got finally. Twenty-one blues. Well, that's pretty good. Twenty-one blues and uh, four sweepstakes. Wow, I'm satisfied. Yeah. You are the best. <laughs> Everybody wants to cook and bake as well as you do. Could I get your autograph, Mark? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You're sure are welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> I love my life. I'm so content with my life. That's why yeah. you're living as long yeah, as you Yeah, right, are. yeah. Absolutely. I love my life. I want everybody to be as healthy and happy, and everybody can be. Your mind is so powerful, you can be whatever you want to be. You're a master of yourself, so you can decide do you want to be healthy or unhealthy. 2019 is going to be a big year. We can't wait to celebrate with you. I know. Uh, <laughs> great. Oh, my gosh. Happy Oh, Marjorie, can you believe this? Look at this. All these Marjories out oh, here. This barn has been packed wow. since 6.30 this morning. People waking up at 4.30 wow. in the morning for that you. Great. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. We do appreciate you coming out. And uh, wow, August 9th was the big day, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. A lot of things happened. My family came over on my birthday. And then uh, at the Y, it was August 2nd. And then my neighbor came over and another neighbor came over. And I got birthday cards galore. It was really some day, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So it was so cute because last year you told me as you were leaving, you said, next year I'll tell you how old you are. So then I knew that this year was a big year. It was a secret until uh, last year. And then I thought, well, 100's pretty good. So I think, <laughs> I think I'll say I'm 100, yeah. And so August 9th, I actually turned 100. Yeah. So let's talk about what some of the things that you've done this year with your family. Because I know you've done a lot of things, including a cruise. Talk about that. Yes, we started celebrating for the whole and in May, we went to England, and we took the canard over, and oh, gosh, that was so nice. It takes about a week to get there, and they keep setting the clocks ahead or behind or whatever it's supposed to be. And so then you have no jet lag when you get there. And so, yeah, and then uh, my, my father's name was Holtby. That was my maiden name. And there's a little village called Hopi that they came from. So we took the car and went out, up and visited the village. Uh, and so I, I went to one door and I said to them, is your name Hopi? And they said, no, it was Flynn. I said, what's that? And they said, that's Irish. And uh, so then he said, no, I he couldn't think of any Hopis that live in the town. So nobody lives there anymore. But that's where they Finally, uh, and then they went to Canada, and then from Canada, some of them came to Minnesota. My father's uh, folks came from Minnesota uh, and Waverly, Minnesota, so he was born there. Yeah. That's fabulous. Okay, so tell us about here at the fair, you had this bread. So tell us about this bread. This is uh, the banana bread that won first place in honey this time, and then I also won for my carrot cake. So I baked it, and so I. this is what the finished loaf is supposed to be, and then we're going to cut it, and then I had a... And we're actually passing some of it out right now. Okay, so how many ribbons did you win in Anoka? Uh, I won, well, 46 plus three, four sweepstakes, so I won 50. 50 ribbons this year in Anoka. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so so if you could tell uh, the barn what uh, the secret to staying so energetic and so young at 100 years old, what would that be? It would, what, if you were going to tell uh, the barn what it would be like? Oh, yes, because I've got about five things. And first of all, I hope everybody's eating their fruits and vegetables because they're so full of antioxidants that it 
you know, it was real good for all our bodies. And then uh, I exercise. You really have to have 30 minutes a day, and it can be anything but something that you like. Walking is so easy. You just put one foot in front of each other, and off you go. I know. Yeah. And uh, so I, and so then my neighbors, because I don't try, they stop and get me. Three nights, a w three nights a week, we go over to the Y, and so then I get on the uh, treadmill for one hour, and then there's 50 minutes, I go on the step machine. Yeah. She's on the treadmill for an hour and on the step machine 50 minutes. We're gonna cut this bread for you. Thanks, Julie. Oh my goodness, that is phenomenal. And what would your, what would your last tip be to stay young? What is your last tip to be to oh, stay young? Eat vegetables, you get on the treadmill. Get your sleep. Because see, we want the sleep so we don't get dementia because we all have debris in our brain, and so then that washes it away. Yeah, and so. Well, she knows. Marjorie Johnson and, knows and it all. And then you have to be optimistic. I wake up thinking it's going to be a wonderful day, and somehow that's the way it turns out. Yes, yeah. optimism. That is exactly it. All right, so we've got a couple more surprises for you, and we're so excited you're here. Marjorie Johnson's here, and we'll have those last surprises coming up in just a couple of minutes. Don't go away.